I wonder if this Denman brush will make my hair super curly. Let's find out. and today I am talking all about the Denman brush. I am super curious to know if the Denman brush will magically make my hair curly. Because <laughs> it's no secret, if you've been here on my channel for a while, you know that my hair is just barely wavy and I love my barely wavy hair, but I'm always looking for ways to enhance my curl pattern. This is my first time using it, styling my hair with it, so I did just kind of dip my toe in. I I did my research, I did my due diligence, I definitely checked out several videos here on YouTube, which I will link down below. If you are curious what resources I was using to learn about using the Denman brush, but so far, I'm feeling pretty good about the kinds of results I got, and I'm very intrigued to use this more, but just know that this is kind of some of my first impressions. What do y'all think? First impressions sing my hair. Do you think it made it way curlier than it's been before? Anyway, if you're curious to see how I use the Dimmon brush, then just keep watching. Hello. We meet again over my tub. How are you doing? Are you having a good day? I'm ready to wash my hair. So I am just getting my hair wet like you've seen me do before. If you've watched any other videos on my channel, I am grabbing my Simply Curls Co Clean Shampoo. My goodness, I have gotten hooked on this stuff. You wanna talk about a good clean without over stripping my hair? Mm, love that shampoo. It's been really working well for me. And now I'm going in with the Simply Curls Co. Clean Conditioner. These two have been really, really good for me. And if you are looking for a coconut-free alternative, a low-allergen alternative to Curly Girl products, look no further. The Simply Curls Co. products are amazing if you struggle with allergies. All right, just doing a good old squish to condition with that conditioner, making sure that it is really worked in well to my hair, giving my hair every chance every possibility of being thoroughly, thoroughly hydrated. And I know that there were a lot of questions in my Squish to Condish video about after I rinse out the conditioner, how do I get the seaweed hair back? Like, what's the point of Squish to Condish if I rinse all that conditioner out and don't have the seaweed clumps? Well, I like to go in with either a curl cream or a leave-in and do another Squish to Condish with the curl cream or leave-in so that I get that seaweed hair back. So I am just smoothing in that curl cream, raking it in a bit. This is, I'm applying this very similarly to how I would apply a leave-in. So I'm starting to do some squishing and, oh, gasp, I am grabbing the Denman brush to smooth those clumps back together. Yay! So since filming this video, I have discovered that it works better when I kind of do the front of my hair first and work my way back backwards, but anyway, we're going to do it this way this time because this was my first time trying it. Doing a really good squish with that, and you can see how good the clumps formed just then. Also, if I take that top section and like smash it to the top of my head, I find that I don't get it stuck or intertwined with the unbrushed clumps. So, little tip there from having used the brush more times since filming these clips. But anyway, I still was incredibly impressed. So I smooth the brush in, kind of rotate the brush forward as I pull it through my hair, and then give my hair a really, really good scrunch. Now I'm going to try and separate out the very front section, section, wow, of my hair, and kind of pushing those front pieces away from my face like I would do with my wet brush. I find that when I really push the hair away from my face, even though I'm styling my hair upside down, it does help keep those front pieces from falling in my face all day. Yay! It helps a little bit. 
All right, just doing a little bit more squishing. See how those clumps came back together? I thought that the Denman brush was gonna completely straighten out my hair. But if you go and scrunch your hair again after running the brush through it, the clumps come back together. So this was actually a really awesome first attempt for me. Now, I am not gonna be using the Denman brush anymore. I am just gonna apply my products like I would normally. I was solely using the Denman brush to get my clumps thoroughly, thoroughly formed. So now I'm just gonna squish and pulse and rope in the rest of my products. And I'm adding just a little bit of water because y'all know me, I love adding lots and lots of water when I apply my products. It really seems to help my hair soak up the product to the right degree anyway gonna keep squishing and squishing and squishing and mm, i forgot to add a little product to the side of my head so always make sure you are applying product to the back of your head as well as the front that will help you with a really even product application i also love tossing my head from side to side because that breaks the clumps off the back of my head. The Denman brush did that for me today, but old habits die hard. Flipping my head from side to side while I apply my products has given me really good results in the past. So squishing in those products and yep, that's that. Good clumps. All right, so I am 100% dry. I just went ahead and diffused my hair to about 90% and I let it finish air drying, and so I'm ready to scrunch out the crunch. Everybody's favorite part of wash day. <laughs> it's where your hair goes from looking kind of stringy and wet and weird and not very attractive to really blooming and transforming. Gotta love a good scrunch out the crunch. And as usual, I don't have just an incredible crunch. It's just kind of a mild sort of cast. I never get really crunchy curls. How about y'all? Do y'all get really crunchy curls? Wow. <laughs> Always do the big flip. All right. as you can see now everything is just big and soft and voluminous and much more flattering let me show you the back all right so there you have it for this wash day I thought I'd go ahead and reach down here, <laughs> sorry, and talk to you about the differences and like the magic of the Denman brush. So I thought it would be fun to try out the Denman brush on my barely wavy hair. I know that the Denman brush works absolute wonders on people with a tighter curl pattern, but I wondered if it would do anything super, super magical for me with my barely wavy, very fine hair. And to be honest with you, I am not noticing an absolutely miraculous difference from everything I'm seeing in the front. You guys saw the back before I did, so I'm not really sure if the back is just wildly more defined than normal. I am noticing some more definition in my underneath layer that I haven't seen before, and it's quite possible that using the Denman brush to smooth all those clumps together really did the trick because I've used the wet brush before in my videos to smooth those front clumps down. And let me break down the differences between these two brushes in my mind for you. This brush is much better for detangling the bristles themselves are very, very flexible, which is nice. The Denman brush bristles are not very flexible. I can bend them, but I'm really having to work for it. Now, the surface area of the two brushes is different as well. The wet brush covers far more surface area, and the Denman brush would cover less. The Denman brush, though, is far more controlled and precise with how you're able to curl your hair. You can kind of sculpt your hair where you want it to go, whereas with this one, 
you're just really smoothing. I really noticed when I was using it in the front because I could see that this did smooth all my wet frizz down and it smoothed all my hair into clumps. I did feel like it helped distribute the product just as nicely as the wet brush did and I did like actually for the back of my head that the bristles were slightly stiffer. I felt like it was able to better grab the hair on the back of my head than the wet brush. Anytime I use the wet brush on the back of my head, I feel like those really, really soft bristles don't necessarily pick up all my hair the way I would like. So this really did kind of pick up the hair off the back of my head um, and give me some really good results. I do think that styling my hair upside down as I normally do was the way to go for me uh, for using the Denman brush because anytime I style my hair right side up, my I am just completely flat, like no volume, and I kind of lack in the volume department to begin with. My hair is getting pretty long and I'm due for a haircut for some more shape, but anyway. Okay, there was one thing that I wanted to insert here real quick about the Denman brush. So I have tested it out a little bit more since filming these clips and I'm still getting awesome definition in the back of my head when I use it. I'm still using it very, very similarly. I have not finger coiled my hair with it and I'll actually insert a couple of pictures right here of what my hair looks like finger coiled. I've tried it. It's a lot of work and it doesn't do much for me. So I haven't tried the Dimmon brush finger coiling yet. The, my favorite way to use it so far is just to get the back of my head to clump properly. But I was noticing that with all the rows in my Dimmon brush, it was like pulling my hair pretty hard. Like I knew that the Denman brush wasn't going to be good for detangling. The bristles are just too stiff. There's not enough give in the brush. If you want to detangle your hair, I highly recommend you have a wet brush. And if you're looking for more of a one and done, I would say this, but this now has kind of a permanent place in my shower because it really, really helps. And I noticed that when I took three of the rows out of my seven row brush, that this glided through my hair much more easily and still picked up the hair off the back of my head and helped smooth everything together to form really good clumps. So just want to tell you that. You want to detangle, use a wet brush. Please, 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 please do not use this. This is not good for detangling. Only use this when your hair is already detangled. But if you really have trouble getting the hair off the back of your head and you want to smooth all your clumps together, this is a really good tool for me. All right, those are my thoughts. Back to the video. That is it for this video. Please tell me down below, have you tried the Denman brush? Did it magically make your hair way curlier? What benefits did you notice? Because I, I liked it. I really felt like it smoothed my clumps together and really helped me style the back of my head. So anyway, I hope y'all are having an absolutely fabulous day and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.